Hello everyone out there on YouTube, it is I the American E2 signing on, and today we will be taking a look at the few things I bought the Great Seal Train Show in October. So to start things off, we'll take a look at a Ertle Water Tower. There's not really much to say about this item, but for the most part it looks in good condition. It doesn't feel like it's been used, and has a nice working hose pipe. Next we have a bag containing an Adventures Hugo. I'm not really a huge fan of Hugo, but his Adventures model at least looks good. It is showing a little bit of love, like it's missing some lining, but it doesn't seem too bad. Next here is a new in-box Ertle Butch, or as the card clearly says, the Sodor Recovery Unit. Oh boy. I have no idea why they labeled him as a Sodor Recovery Unit instead of Butch. It's so weird. Looking at this guy's package though, it's nothing really special to look at, but the model is still good. It has many details such as the tire in his bed, the coupling on his back, and his face also looks great. The only bad part about him is the fact that his towing arm is static and his hook is molded on. But overall, he's still a great model. Moving on to the next engine, we have a David the Diesel's Taking Play Norman from 2011. And looking at his packaging though, I have to say it looks much better than Butch's. It reminds me of the first two years when Take and Play came out, and it reminds me of when Day of the Diesels came out and they had this packaging brand and other specials. And it has a nice window that allows you to see what vehicles are inside on all corners. And it comes with a checklist on the bottom. Like Hugo, I'm not a big fan of Norman, seeing as unlike most of the Day of the Diesels characters, they never really gave him an episode all to himself but his model at least still looks good. Finally, for the last item, here's a model of an engine who's not really Thomas related. This is a Pico and Cato model of the Festiniog and Welsh Highland Railways Princess, aka a member of Duke and Bertram's class. I bought this because aside from Thomas related models, I'm also trying to get more normal trains, and I figured such a model would look great next to the narrow gauge crew. Looking at her box firsthand, it looks so nicely detailed, reflecting on the engine's railway and has the model's name printed nicely on the front. When you open up the box, you'll get two plastic covers to protect the engine from being damaged, some extra details, some normal N-gauge couplers, and of course, the model's instructions. Looking at Princess's model itself, it is very well made. She has so many details like her double whistle, her red side rods, room paint job, and even her open cab. The only minor flaw with this model is that it's entirely made of plastic, which makes the model feel very fragile compared to Bachman's narrow gauge engines, which are entirely made of die cast. But nonetheless, this model is still great. When putting her next to the narrow gauge engines, you can see the difference in size the model has. When playing with Scar Lowy, she is admittedly a little bit small, but I guess that's because this is an accurate scale of the real engine itself next to the Tally Clint engines.
Well, that's it for today. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.